All right, guys, we got a lot of interest in uh, Air Keyboard for the Golf Simulator world recently. Um, I actually attempted to publish a layout, um, had some issues with some files being misnamed, and I uh, just wanted to sort that out and figure we'd go ahead and do that and put out a little tutorial on how to use Air Keyboard in general. So let me go ahead and uh, start by sending you guys to airkeyboardapp.com. Uh, simply going to click Downloads here. Uh, Windows is most popular for um, GS Pro, etc. We're going to grab that download and start that install. Nothing fancy here. Pretty much a click through installer. And we're ready to rock and roll. Give that a second here. All right, now if we run the Air Keyboard app, simply just type in Air Keyboard app, it gives you a password. You're actually going to use that on the other end on your iPad. So 5136 would be uh, the password we put in when we run the, the application on the iPad. This app is going to run in your uh, system tray. So if you ever need to go check for that password, you can go down here in the bottom right hand corner and you can see and or change that, that password, do updates, etc. So this will let you know that it is running. Now, um, to move on to the iPad side of things, we're gonna go ahead and pull up the iPad, go into your app store, um, and we're gonna search for Air Keyboard. Now, what we gotta make sure is we download Air Keyboard for iPad. There is a specific application for that versus the iPhone. You do want the iPad version, so you're gonna click here it's going to pop up we've already got that application so we'll go ahead and open that and show you what that looks like here uh, now on to actually uploading the layout for gs pro we will hop over into itunes so back on our pc here we're going to click into itunes we've got our ipad plugged in you do have to manually upload this file they have a repository for these layouts but they are uh, that it, that service is broken. It's this app's barely supported. We're kind of lucky that it's still out there, even to download. I've gone as far as to archive the files, so if uh, if we ever need them in the future, we can grab those. So um, you're gonna find your device right here in near the top left. Click into that iPad. You're gonna go into file sharing, and we are gonna click on Air Keyboard. Now I have a number of layouts already introduced onto uh, my device, so. We're gonna ignore everything that's here. Yours may look similar to this or it may have almost nothing. Um, and we're actually gonna to go to add file. And there will be a download um, that I will provide a link to um, to Discord um, to grab that and maybe some other locations. But we're gonna grab this um, long alphanumeric dot layout file. And we're gonna actually upload that entire thing. Let's see if it'll open. Just kidding, we do have to zip that up. So we'll do that while we're in the process. So let's go ahead and uh, send to a compressed zip folder. We're gonna dot layout dot zip. Now we're gonna pick that file. And we'll check this. Let's see if that comes over here. And we were looking for today. Let's go ahead and do a sync. It is 10.20 p.m. There's our layout.zip. And we'll see how that works. So now, come back over to the iPad. I'm actually gonna restart the application just uh, for good measure. It will actually show um, the servers that I have running. So it's got this laptop we just had and then my uh, gaming PC that's uh, running downstairs. So let's go ahead and see if in the layouts we can find the most recent one. Copy of GS Pro V3 and there it is. So we should be up and running with this um, layout. Um, hopefully that's explanatory. Um, and we can get there, but if you have any questions, reach out 
and uh, don't hesitate to ask. It's Boiler Tim A on uh, GS Pro Discord, um, or you can hit me up here on YouTube in the comments. Thanks, guys.